What is up everybody? We are here at Vid Summit 2018. Yes, super excited to be here other than the fact that we drove one whole day, one day from Portland all the way down to Los Angeles, California. Never been to Los Angeles actually, this is the first time. Pretty excited to be here. It's pretty crazy considering two months ago I was selling toys and now I'm at this pretty big event. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you some stuff here that I have already done and set up here in my hotel room. I was gonna spin all the way around, but there's this block in me. So that's not gonna happen. Uh, and then I'm gonna talk to David, and then I'm gonna talk to Luria. And who knows, maybe I'll just try and find some random people to just ask random questions, see what they have to say. I honestly don't know how this video is even gonna go. I have not planned this video out whatsoever, so it's gonna be really fun to see how this actually turns out. I'm coming along the journey with you guys, so. They are all down there right now setting up for the live stream. We are covering the official live stream here at Bid Summit, so uh, I'm, I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna try and sneak into them and get, get some uh, questions. How do they stay creative? How do they stay organized? How do they stay calm while on the road and still be able to put out videos and content and just all that sort of thing? Because being a creator is difficult because we're creators, but we're also, we kind of have other jobs as well. I'm gonna start here and show you some stuff that I have done already. A uh, hint involves a command center, so, and a one wheel. Yeah, brought my one wheel. I may not show that right now, but I did bring my one wheel, so well, let's just go, let's do it. Let's get started. So I'm starting out here in the bathroom because one, this is the first tip for you. You're gonna be a lot of solo shooting if you're traveling. Tip number one while you're shooting these types of things, turn your microphone the other direction. So when you're talking like this, when you're pointing at stuff, hey, what's it going? Audio is beautiful. So yeah, tip number one, flip your dang microphone so it doesn't sound all muffled like this. What's up guys? The microphone is pointing in the opposite direction. So this is what it would sound like if you're talking behind the camera. So turn your dang microphone the other direction, people. So the first thing I did is when I got into my hotel room was I unpacked all my stuff and laid it all out, but not just all thrown around all chaos, like some nuclear bomb went off. No, of course not. I organized everything and built my little command center and I'm about to show you. Let's go. Here we go. Mobile command center, uh, Echo Bravo Charlie one. That's what I'm calling it. Let's start out right here with this power strip. I brought my own power strip uh, and I brought in my little plug in the jiggers and then I plugged in my charger majigs. So those are technical terms for you guys. I got everything kind of laid out and charging on this really long, awesome table, by the way. It goes, look at that, it goes all the way over there. There's a TV, it's craziness. You may also notice, look at my batteries. Why is there fancy numbers written all over them? So some of you guys have been wondering, how do you organize your batteries and know how to keep track of which ones are charged and which ones are dead? So the first thing I do is when I get a new battery, throw some gaff tape on there and I number every single one of them. And so I use them in order and everything below it is gonna be dead. So number your batteries, that is my next tip for you. Oh, extra tip, then this is a good way to keep track of your batteries so you don't lose them as well because we all just throw our batteries in bags and whatever and you'd be like, six months from now and you only have four batteries, but you started with 10, you're like, wait a minute, when did I start losing batteries? Oh no, did I lose them at shoots and things? Well, this is a good way to know. You can see them, end of your shoot. If you're missing one, you know where to stop and go look for them. So, extra tip for you. I also number GoPros and other cameras, especially if you're using uh, multiple cameras on shoots. This is a good way to keep track of memory cards and know which one they came from and or who was wearing them. SSD, one terabyte, because that's what I use for my laptop here finally broke down and stuck something to my laptop i hate doing that but while i'm editing i can just slap this right onto there and it locks into place and i can be editing while i'm sitting on a park bench sitting wherever it may be and i don't have to worry about it falling down coming unplugged mid edit got my lenses laid out for easy grab got my monitor for my rig for this guy right there uh and then yeah that is that's pretty much the little mobile command center that I built over here. And no command center is complete without some sort of self-defense system. And don't worry, I got that covered. Yeah, you never know when there's gonna be some sort of invasion. So let's go talk to Dave and Larry and see what they have to say about tips for traveling. Let's go. <laughs> that almost hit me in the eye. 
I honestly come into these uh, conferences with a goal in mind, with a plan of action, but also with a mental attitude of it's all gonna get screwed up. Go with the flow, right? So forget the plan, go with the flow. There are a couple of things that I always have in my pockets. One, I attach my badge to my belt loop. Then have only my hotel room key and my credit cards and my driver's license. I don't carry a purse around. And if I do, it's a bag that goes around my leg if I feel the need. My phone, of course, keeps me in charge of my schedule. Uh, I always have a battery pack on me as well, in my back pocket, uh, my lip gloss, and my <laughs> Listerine things, right? These are very important as well. It's a little overwhelming, it's a little insane, but I have learned to kind of train myself to just push, 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 and get through the insaneness and get as much as I can out of it, give as much as I can to others, and then at the end of it, I know that I can crash, but I don't worry about crashing. It's got to be all give, 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 and if you set your brain to give, 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 give for the next three days, you can crash at the end of it, rejuvenate, and continue down the path of life. I feel like I've met some cool friends. Um, Luria has been amazing. David's been amazing. Um, I got to watch Peter McKinnon speak, which was really, really cool. I was around magicians everywhere. It was just cards. People were just floating on the sidewalk. It was insane. I got fired. Chasing my dreams. Sounds cheesy, but it's the truth. He was a great public speaker. We also got to kind of like go behind the scenes with him. I'm like an actual white walker. The Kingslayer guy that lost his hand. Oh, yeah. Hey, oh my, thanks for ruining it. Well, he was his hand. But wow. Like, oh my gosh. I'm trying to now just, because, of, because of Ireland. We've been right. trying to watch How far have you gotten? It's just weird, man. I just don't really like it. And a few of the other speakers. Really good opportunity to come and network and and just meet people that you never would have met otherwise. I don't know what I expected. I don't know, maybe I, I kind of thought it was gonna be less people. I was expected that how many people are here. I feel like I got put in a really good place and I'm really grateful that I got to PA for your guys' crew and for Luria and David. I hope they invite us back next year. I have been inspired to create a YouTube channel, so I think that's gonna be my, my next endeavor. I've learned the importance of networking. It's definitely good to have that being able to talk to people. It's very important. Yeah. I'd like to learn like the process, especially with the live streaming, the different types of equipment, and the ways to boost your followers. I thought that was really interesting and a good takeaway. I like to put everything when I'm traveling in as few bags as possible. So I generally have a suitcase uh, and when I pack my clothes, I roll my clothes up, kind of how you roll socks up. I just roll them up and they don't take up as much space when I do that. But then for camera gear, I'm really trying to minimize what I'm taking. So I'm down to taking my phone uh, and a holder and stuff like that. I'm trying to get away from having to take a camera. So that pretty much all fits in a little backpack. That carries my, I have a 360 camera in there. I carry my microphone, my tripod, a gorilla pod, just in case I would happen to need that for any kind of you know, wrapping my phone around anything. And then my moment lenses or lenses, ND filters and stuff like that I have for my phone. So I'm trying to be minimalist now when I travel where I used to like feel like I had to have this big ass bag with all this gear in it. Not doing that anymore. <laughs> that was backwards. Hi. Peter McKinnon. Uh, I think a lot of YouTubers are introverts we to are, be honest. Yeah. Like, hates talking to the camera and he was <laughs> he was not good at it when he started now he's amazing at it